Hey guys, it's me Glitch Games, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, we're going to be showing you guys how to run your Minecraft server for free. Now, if you're actually trying to get a Minecraft server with like lots of players, actually do it seriously with lots of plugins, like hundreds of plugins, I don't recommend using a free host because a free host after you start loading a ton of stuff onto it, it will start getting a bit overloaded, run a bit slow, crash a few times. Um, but if you're just running like under 10 plugins, you're playing it with your friends from school, like four or five people, then this is surely the way to go. I mean, like I was running a free Minecraft server host to like test my server, play.bingomc.tk by the way, I'm running on revive node. Um, so I was actually using a free server host to test my server until I hit like 50 plugins and it started getting a bit iffy, but like most of you people probably won't be running 50 plugins, so you should be good with this server host. It's pretty good, it's freemc.host and it's great if you're just um, setting up a server and starting getting started, you know, building the foundation of your server before you want to pay for a host or if you're just playing with your friends uh, with not many plugins that's good as well so what you actually do to start off if you can't is that you come to this website here and you actually press the login and sign up option and what that'll do is you'll log in through discord you press login through discord then you log in with your discord stuff it'll press login waiting uh here it'll ask you if you want to upgrade uh which is like something or rather for like unlimited backups no cpu restrictions is a big one like this server host can do 16 gigabytes of ram but the the cpu is what lets it down so like with the paid one you actually get um no cpu restrictions so that's pretty good but we're here for the free server today's video is sponsored by Sengoda. Sengoda is a new and unique marketplace where you can easily find hundreds of high quality free and paid custom plugins to improve your overall Minecraft server experience. With the help of community and developer feedback, Sengoda is constantly working to improve the overall user experience. Sengoda features both their own plugins and plugins from developers you already know and love. Don't want to take my word for it? Well why not listen to all the happy satisfied customers? Link to the Sagoda Marketplace will be in the description, so why not give it a try? And, um, so I don't know how I already have 1,000, uh, how I already have 6 gigabytes of RAM. I th I'm thought you started with 2, but anyways, so this is what you get when you first sign up. So, to get the memory, you come here and you see you get the 2 gigabytes of base free RAM, but you can actually join servers inside of Discord and actually add up your RAM for one gigabyte per server you join. So that, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen gigabytes of RAM you can actually get just from joining Discord servers. Now, um, you can actually make three uh, servers with one account, which is where the 16 comes in. You can have a maximum of eight gigabytes of RAM per server, but if you have three servers, then three divided by 16 is 5.3 gigabytes per th three servers. Or if you only have two servers, you could get your full eight gigabytes of RAM on two servers completely for free so um, I'm actually gonna go through and join all of these different discord servers to get my RAM up and I already have six gigabytes for some reason maybe that's why I can't join these ones because I've already got like more but um, I'm just gonna actually just go and join these all and we'll be back when I have my lots of RAM <laughs> Okay, so I've joined all the servers now. It's probably going to take probably about 10 minutes for the RAM to come through. So whilst we wait for the RAM to come through, we're going to start and we're going to actually go and create ourselves a server. So right now we actually have 6 gigabytes of RAM, so or 600 megabytes, which is about 6 gigabytes. So we're going to put in our 600 megabytes of RAM on this server, and you can actually change this later. We're going to call this server YouTube. And we're going to choose, okay, so the only free location is Europe. Our subdomain, we're going to put YouTube. Um, and you can choose from two different endings. Now, if you guys hit 30 likes on this video, I'll go and make a video on how you guys can actually change this to a different IP address 
so that you don't have to have this IP address, you could have something like my server play.bingomc.tk go join, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you can choose your version, there's all sorts of stuff, you can even choose Bungie Cord, which is really cool, um, which is why they've got the three servers, because you require a minimum of three servers to run Bungie Cord. Um, and Bungie Cord doesn't need much, so you can allocate like one gigabyte of RAM to Bungie Cord, which, if you don't know how Bungie Cord works, is you need a separate Bungie Cord server, and then two other servers that your Bungie Cord's running on. It's, it's confusing stuff. Um, so you can also do custom, but we're just going to do 1.15.2, and we can press create server. And now you'll see that our 600, 6,000 megabytes out of 6,000 megabytes has been used. Still waiting for that ram to come through but i've heard it comes through in about 10 minutes so we'll just go to our panel and we'll be able to s manage our servers from here so okay automatically logged in oh that's really cool. oh yeah look at that oh yeah okay here we can actually manage all of our servers and this is actually really similar to revive node which revive node is this hosting that i use um i really do recommend go check out revive node they're really awesome so you can go and you can select this one and you also had uh the ip back there if you didn't see so this is the console in real time you've got file management you know it basically works the same as any other server you would do so th obviously there's no files yet we haven't started the server up so let's just click the startup button and see how we go so guys, uh, as you can see, the server started up, and as you can see, all the commands are working. If we do slash help, we've got all of the help coming up. If we do slash reload, everything works just like it should. And now, one thing that I don't like about this is the CPU does actually grow up a little bit when you do the reloads and the starting up the server especially but if we actually go into file management we can actually see where we can edit some stuff uh, we can edit the server dot properties uh, we can we can add in plugins into the plugins folder so let's add a plugin into the plugins folder let's just get any good old plugin let's add in our plugin where is it? obsidian to, to lava it'll be somewhere around here here we go. Add an hour plugin. And then if we go into console and we hit reload, hopefully our plugin should work. Hit reload. It's quick reload. And let's see if we can find our plugin enabling. I never know where to look for this. Obsidian. Obsidian to lava. Here we go. Loading obsidian to lava. Enabling obsidian to lava. There you go. And as you can see, our plugin has been enabled and the server works fully perfectly fine. Now let's go back and see if our RAM has updated. Oh, and as you can see, guys, we now have the 16 gigabytes of RAM. So if we go edit memory, we can actually update our memory. So we'll, we'll change this to 8,000 because that's the maximum per server. We press update. It will go updating RAM, updating RAM. And now we have eight, eight gigabytes of RAM on this server. And that's pretty amazing. We could even make another server and get another eight gigabytes of RAM on that server. So it's a pretty amazing. You've got status and news. What else have we got? We've got account upgrades that you can get. So we've got all sorts of different upgrades. Unlimited SSD, unlimited backups, priority support, two extra servers. So you can actually get two extra servers for 80 cents a month, which is pretty mental. You could easily set up a Bungie server. You can get eight gigabytes of RAM. So amazing if you want to just set up a simple Bungie server, I guess. Five extra servers, $2 a month. Higher CPU limit would definitely be something that I would buy if I was to buy anything because... I know that when I was using this, I wasn't running out of RAM. I was running out of CPU. So, higher CPU limit, definitely something worth buying if you were to buy something. But I think this is just something that you can start out with, play with your friends, test out your server. I was running this with like 50 plugins and it was all working. Um, but yeah, 
This is a pretty good server host, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. Go check them out at freemc.host. Uh, link will be in the description. Uh, if you're if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We're looking for subscribers. We're looking for some people. We do plug-in videos. We'll be, we'll be doing all sorts of tutorials about setting up your Minecraft server. We do plug-in videos. We're gonna be doing. I might. I have actually one other really good free host. So if you hit 50 likes on this video, I might even bring out that one. And also, like I mentioned before, if we hit 30 likes on the video, I'll bring out how to IP forward or just basically change the IP address from this. Uh, from the IP address that you get here, which is... I'll show you how to change this uh, IP address to a better IP address. So, for example, you could change it to freemc.com, I guess. You could change it to that, and you can change it to basically anything, and you can do that from for completely free as well. So we'll show you how to do that if we hit 30 likes on the video and if we get some people asking for it. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video. Um, I'll see you in the next video on Tuesday, uh, where we've got an amazing plugin coming up, guys. So you don't want to miss it. Come on up on Tuesday. Um, anyways, see ya.